three of Miami football camp here at Yeager Stadium and our reports on MiamiRedHawks.com. I'm Steve Baker, and today we talk offensive line with two redshirt seniors, the guys that have seen this offensive line develop over the last several years. And on my right, I've got uh, Jordan Rigg and Mitch Palmer here on my left. And uh, let's talk first about the summer. Uh, tell us about the summer. And personally, for you, what were you doing to get ready for this season? Uh, summer, I've been working hard on getting my strength up quite a bit. Uh, mainly upper body, I've been trying to get that strong so I can uh, control people a little better on the line. And uh, I've been been doing a lot of stretching and stuff, getting my body right for the season. Very good. How about you, Mitch? I'm um, coming off of a Liz Frank tear. Um, I had surgery. Um, really worked on getting that healed up, and it's feeling great now. Um, I think that was a big focus this summer, as well as just kind of changing my body type, mm -hmm. leaning out, getting stronger putting on more muscle mass. Now, I, know, I know you guys have been working as a unit all summer long, and tell the, tell the people how important that is. Obviously, those five guys up front get called on a lot. How, how important is it for you guys to work together as a unit in the offseason to develop that chemistry? Well, at O-line, it, it's not a single person. It's the whole, it's the whole group that makes, makes the plays. So if we, we have one weak link, the whole, li the whole line's going to be a weak link. So it's important to get everybody on the same page, everybody to have all their strengths together so we can go together and, and make plays. Now, one big part about this, and as I said, you guys have seen this O-line develop. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is coaching. Obviously, coaching's great, but a lot of that's been in the weight room. What kind of impact has Luke Kelly had on particularly the offensive line? Um, I think he's changed everything from the attitude, the approach. I mean, every day we come in, I mean, he's getting everyone fired up. He's really focusing on how we're attacking that day, what we're doing, making sure we get the most out of every rep. Um, and then he's focused a lot more on staying healthy and preventing injuries as well. So from that standpoint, I think he's doing a really good job. And that, that's a key part for a strength and conditioning coach. People say, well, isn't that sports medicine? No, you really learn how to take care of your body, improve your body to get ready for that without injury in the weight room. All right, yeah, well, like Mitch said, you know, we've, we've had a lot of injuries the past, past few years since I've got here. And, and uh, Kelly's been doing really good at that, making sure everybody's, you know, nice and loose, everybody's, Everybody's getting stronger so we don't have random like shoulder pops out or ACL tears mainly. Right. We've had a lot of those. So he's strengthening a lot of different muscles that we haven't been really doing before. Mm -hmm. Now, talking with Coach, and, and he is so excited about the offensive line this year. You guys, obviously, as a unit, have been together several years and have learned that chemistry and stuff. So there's a lot of pressure and expectations on you guys. Start with you. Uh, Jordan, how, how do you handle those expectations getting ready for the year? Uh, you know, I just go out there, take it day by day. I don't really – let anything get to me or let, let anything bring me down. I just go out there and do what I do what I know I can do and I don't let pressure get to me. I just go out there and make make my plays basically. Mm -hmm. Mitch? Um, I kind of like he said, take it one day at a time. I'm um, not really focused too much on an end goal, more a day to day basis, how you're going to get better each day. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, one more question. What does the offensive line need to do between now and September 1st to get ready for Marshall? Well, one thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Probably just uh, finishing plays yeah. before, you know, we get on our blocks and, uh, you know, we'll get there for a second and a lot of times we don't finish. So if we start finishing plays, that's going to open up a lot more things. Right. Mitch? Here. Uh, I think sprinkling on some nastiness. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah. think uh, adding some, like the finish, um, then a little, little, more, uh, little more dirt in between, in between the whistles. Clean, but, yeah. but uh, a little more oomph. Very good. All right, Jordan Rigg, Mitch Palmer, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. The offensive line. You can come out and see the offensive line and the rest of the Red Hawks on August 18th. That is the pigskin preview. That will be here at Yeager Stadium. Go to MiamiRedHawks.com and get more information.